Aside from our previous video, there's still some information you need to know about lilac rabbits. Habitat. As their size indicates, these medium-sized lilac rabbits must need a sufficiently large-sized enclosure in order for them to live comfortably and lengthy life. An indoor cage required having a wired frame on each side and a plastic bottom where you can place the rabbit's bedding. If you prefer to put them to live as an outdoor pet, a wood enclosure required to be elevated from the floor and need to put a fenced bottom with a slope for the rabbit to keep safe from any elements that may harm them as well as any rabbit predators. Completely change their bedding every week, and do not forget to clean the lilac rabbit's bedding every day. For the lilac rabbit's bedding, provide them a wood pellet or aspen. You may also use some pelleted horse covers. Avoid giving your pet a pine as well as cedar. Eventually, clean their cage using white vinegar or some product that a cage-safe cleaner, Avoid using some bathroom cleaner, or like other things that might contain any toxic for the pet cage. These breed of rabbits also enjoy exploring their surroundings, whether these indoors, maybe outdoor, so always check the rabbit indoor rooms when it is bunny safe, or no hazards detect like some exposed wires. And when pertaining to outdoor spaces, the enclosures need to be fenced to avoid running or hopping off for the lilac rabbits to keep safe. Spaying or neutering. When you have two rabbits in one enclosure, and you don't want to breed them, it is reasonable to spay the female lilac rabbits then neuter the male lilac rabbits. Female rabbits can be spayed at least at their age as 4 months old, but another veterinarian would rather have to wait until they reach the age of 6 months before spaying them. While the young male lilac rabbits can be neutered when they reach 4 months old of age. Grooming Lilac rabbits are tremendously clean animals because they know how to groom alone by themselves. But, if you want for a smooth running extra lustrous or simply a shiny pet, it is preferable to groom your lilac rabbits at least every two to three weeks. However, during the molting season, it is preferable to groom your pet rabbits every week to take off their stray hairs. Those rabbits that have a short coat are not actually at high risk to any most digestive problems, while those long furs can seem to cause rabbits. These rabbits might have still get another disease like flystrike, ear mites as well as overgrown teeth. These ailments can be supervised or maintained together with a proper guide to a rabbit's health as well as proper grooming care for your pets. Health Issues The most appropriate way to obstruct any health problem that might possibly occur to your pet is to secure that your pet rabbit has its diet that is rich in hay. Like for example, when your rabbit grows diarrhea because it has a poor diet, the soiled coat of the rabbit might attract some flies during the warmer season, most especially when your pet is outdoor. Also, when the rabbit cannot groom by itself properly, there are some flies that might lay eggs in its fur near its bottom. And when the eggs of those flies finally hatch, they will start to eat your pet rabbit, this is often called fly strike. To prevent this fly strike, just make sure that your pet may eat a balanced diet and make a habit to check its fur for some flies that may have landed on its soiled fur. One other possible health problem that your pet rabbit might be encountered was its overgrown teeth. It is an interesting thing that your pet rabbit's teeth continuously grow throughout their entire life. The hay that your rabbit's usually eating helps to trim your rabbit's overgrown teeth. The overgrown teeth of rabbits might grow into the rabbit's mouth as well as their jaws, which may be caused immense pain to your pet rabbit. This can only be fixed by a veterinarian who files down the overgrown teeth and also prescribes some antibiotics for your pet for any infection that might occur. Protecting your rabbit's health. Consistent health, as well as critter checkups, which might be done at least once a week, or every second week, should become a weekly routine as a pet owner. This routine may lend a helping hand to your rabbits for them to have good health and excellent condition. It is also a good recommendation to examine the state of your rabbit's teeth to make sure that there are not any long teeth that may cause your pet an in discomfort feeling. However, grooming does not necessary a lot, especially when the rabbit's fur is in low maintenance. But, it's a good objective to give them a pleasurable gentle brushing to help them to get rid of any excess hairs just the same as the length of their coats. Like any other kind of pet, Lilac rabbits should need to be dewormed on a regular basis. It is good to see your veterinarian for any proper advice regarding administering a worm medication to your pets. Deworming your pets is a very crucial concern for your rabbit, and these should commonly do during the spring and fall season. Breeding Traits The reproduction of blue and chocolate rabbits generates these many breeds of lilac rabbits. However, its color, which is lilac, is not distinctive to the lilac rabbit. But the lilac rabbit has one of a small number of rabbits that have only one common and unproved color, which is color lilac. A pet lilac rabbit must have usually kept in pairs for them to have solidarity. It is very influential to a lilac rabbit regarding their happiness for them to live longer with a companion. In the wild, rabbits are generally very social animals. 
The female lilac rabbits can produce at least two up to four litters of baby bunnies every year, which consists of four up to six babies. Baby lilac rabbits are born without a coat, and their eyes are closed. Lilac rabbits usually have an adequate litter size, and these breeds of rabbits make an excellent mother. However, they might become uncharacteristically moody during their mating season. The young rabbits can open their eyes when they are around 7 up to 14 days with the standard number of 10 days after their birth. After they finally open their eyes, you may start to offer them a small amount of food like an alpha pellet as well as water. Eventually, even the young rabbits started to eat some small amount of food, there doesn't mean that they are quite prepared enough to be weaned from their mothers. These mother rabbits know when the right time for them to wean their little bunnies. Weaning plays a very important role regarding the development of the baby rabbit's growth, health, development of their digestive system, and also, it is good for their immune system. Availability. The price of a lilac rabbit may be vary upon the quality of the rabbit, where are you going to buy them, the quality of the cage that you choose for them and the health care they need, and more. You may also inquire in a breeder as well as in the National Lilac Rabbit Club of America. Taking care of lilac rabbit. The lilac rabbits are very easy to care for. Its common diet should be composed of rabbit pellets, at least one ounce of the pellets is good for every pound depends on the rabbit's weight. And also add at least a handful of haze every day. You can also sometimes, give your pet rabbit some treats like dried papaya, carrots, parsley, spinach, clover, dried banana as well as some dandelion leaves. When molting season, they should be groomed to take off any loose fur, but other than that, they don't require much brushing. If you want to remain your pet rabbit for the show, you should stay them away out of direct sunlight so that their fur does not stray from its vibrant hue. The lilac rabbit's fur is very sensitive to direct sunlight. If their enclosures are placed outside where the sun can shine to them for a whole day, the fur of lilac rabbits might get sunburned. The best way to avoid these is either you move their enclosures to an area that has a shade or keep their cage covered whenever the sun shines on their beautiful fur. And even though the lilac rabbit has a place of shade to stay with all the time, you still need to cover the sunny section of that place. But you might don't leave them in their cage alone for a day. The lilac rabbits will eventually get sunburned fur, but a new fur will also become sunburned if you're not that careful to cover their enclosures. The lilac rabbits are friendly, gentle in nature, and have sweet personalities. They are pretty larger than most pet rabbit breeds, but they are easy to handle. They are very hardy compared to some other breeds. They love company and enjoy playing. They will keep them happy and playing if given access to lots of toys. They are docile and are of good temperament. The lilac does are good mothers, and their litter size can be rather small with only 4-6 to six kits. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.